दोस्तों जैसे कि मैंने आप सब लोगों को प्रॉमिस किया था कि फॉरेन के फार्मासिस्ट लोगों को और फॉरेन के स्टूडेंट्स लोगों को मैं हमारे चैनल के ऊपर लाने की कोशिश करूंगा जो आपको फार्मेसी के बारे में वहाँ की चीज़ें बताएंगे ये हमारे जो ट्राई फाइनली सक्सेसफुल हो गया आज की वीडियो में मेरे साथ है नैसी जो कि वैंक्यूर सिटी कैनेडा में करेंटली रही है पिछले एक साल से वो एक्चुअली फिलिपींस से बिलोंग करती है फिलिपींस उसने कैनेडा में एब्रॉड जाके वहाँ पर एज अ फार्मासिस्ट जॉब ज्वाइन कर ली उसका टोटल एक्सपीरियंस और आपके जितने सारे सवाल थे कि वहाँ पर सैलरी कितनी मिलती है फॉरन में कितनी पे करते हैं कितने पैसे मिलती है ऐसे बहुत सारे सवालों को भी उसने इस वीडियो में जवाब दिया है तो इस वीडियो को शुरू से लेकर अंत तक जरूर देखिए Hi everyone. Um my name is Nas. I am a pharmacist here in Canada and I would like to take this opportunity to thank Fishel for inviting me in his channel. So yes, let's start with the first question. So my first question to Nasi is what you do as a pharmacist in Canada because if I think about the pharmacists in India there would be a clinical pharmacist and hospital pharmacist only in the higher hospitals or only in the metropolitan cities but if i think about the pharmacy field in canada there is wide much scope there so i would like to just know what the responsibilities you handle you work you do as a pharmacist in canada so my main job here in canada is to make sure that the prescription is correct in terms of like the name the doctor's name the medication the quantity and also another responsibility that i have is to make sure to counsel all the patients and to give also some recommendations for those people who are asking for their simple conditions like people who are asking for common colds for diarrhea constipation it's my responsibility to give them recommendation if it's suitable um it's also my responsibility to contact the doctor if there's any issues with the prescription as well just to make sure that before i give the medication to the patient it is appropriate so say for example if i see some drug interactions with the medication it is my responsibility to either call the doctor or to fax the doctor so that's what i do as a pharmacist as well um we also have some professional services that we do one of which is to give injections to the patient also we do medication review as well to the patient so that's also one of our professional services that we provide to the patient so yeah but basically overall we fill prescription counsel give recommendation talk to the doctor talk to the patient and give other professional services so that's what we do as a retail pharmacist here in canada So my next question to Nasi is what is the reason that you think the Canada is very much important very much attractive country for the pharmacy students from India and many of the abroad countries because if i think about the best countries for the pharmacy students there would be a USA Australia but most probably 70 to 80% students choose Canada as their first option so what the reason do you think the people choose Canada in their first opinion for abroad studies or abroad job So I think one of the reasons why a lot of people would want to Canada in even myself before a few years ago the reason why I wanted to come here to Canada because of the quality of life. Um Canada is I think number 1 in terms of quality of life. So I think that's one of the main reason why people would want to start a new life here in Canada. And of course, not to mention is we also have a good pay as a pharmacist. So that's why I think that's the reason why a lot of people would want to come here in Canada. So Nasi my next question is very much important to the students from India who want to join Canada as a pharmacist to for their upcoming growth in their career. So you were in the Philippines then you moved to the Canada since last one year. That's right. Then what are the examples what are the name of the exams that you gave as a pharmacist to become a pharmacist in Canada? Can you enlist a few names of the exams so that students from India would help them? that uh, which are the exam uh, exams are required so that they will chase that exams deadlines exam date and all this and then they will be easy for them to get into canada very much accurately so there are three major exams that you have to do in order for you to become a pharmacist here in canada one is the pbc evaluating exam the second one is the pbc mcq and the pbc 
OSCE, which is the Part B of the licensure exam. So these are the three major exams that you have to pass. And these are also the three exams that are really hard to pass. So you really have to work on it and you really have to give so much time and preparation in order for you to pass. And one additional exam also is the jurisprudence exams. Basically, this is the law exam that you have to do wherever province you want to choose to become as a licensed pharmacist. So Nasi, my next question to you is about the money because money is the thing for which we work eight or nine hours a day. And Indian students especially are very much excited about the USD dollars, Canadian dollars salaries because the salaries in Indian currencies becomes very, very huge. So can you give uh, just an assumption or you can just a practical tell the what are the salaries are provided for pharmacists in Canada. I know the salaries are different from state to state, United States, Canadian dollars are different. But you will just you can just give us an assumption. You can just tell us the average salaries of the pharmacists in Canada so that the student from India would be really, really excited about this topic. Well, it really depends. So it depends on the province and it depends on which area in the province you're working. So say, for example, here in the lower mainland in British Columbia, the starting would be around $38 an hour. And as you go farther away from the city, it can actually go up up to $55 an hour. So it's somewhere like five hours or six hours from the city. So that's the range of the salary here in British Columbia. In Toronto or in Ontario, that's another province, um, it's still the same range, about $35 to $40. And if you are also farther away, it can go up to like 60 hours, sorry, $60 an hour. Yeah, so it's a good pay. So Nasi, my next question is about the plans because as a pharmacist, if I ask any of the students from India or any of the employees from India, the mainly reasons is open a medical store, then they might be choosing their career in core pharmaceutical industry, sometimes ETMF, CDM, the clinical data management, and sometimes like own business. But what are your plans, what you want to join as a pharmacist, what you want to become in your pharmacy career because the imagination, the power of the vision is very important for any career and I know that abroad students are very much evolved in this career options in this pharmacy career. So I would like to ask you what are your plans as a pharmacist in your life? So what are my plans now that I'm a pharmacist? Well. To be honest, I've never really thought about it at this moment because I just got my license last year. But I actually wanted to be a pharmacist in the hospital because you are more involved with the clinical aspect and I like being in a clinical field than I think being in a community pharmacy. But it's hard to get in in a hospital pharmacy so you really have to work on your credentials. And it's something that I'm planning to work on to have more like educational or other health services information because you should not only well knowledgeable but you also have to have something that would you know make you different from the rest of the candidate because every year I think there's only about 15 to 20 T candidates that they're picking out of the 100 applicants. So it's very competitive. So that's one of my goal to become a hospital pharmacist. If I don't get into the hospital pharmacies, I'm actually planning to put up my own pharmacy, but that's not going to happen in the next five years because you have to think a lot of things. There's a lot of competition as well. So make sure that I think I really have to think and plan very well in order for it to become successful. So yeah, either a hospital pharmacist or to have my own pharmacy. So that's my goal in the next five years. So Nancy, my last question to you is why you choose pharmacy as your career? Because if I ask any of the students from India that why you uh, are in the pharmacy field, then there would be a several reasons that it was my family decision. Sometimes there would be a group problem because in India, if you, you don't have a marks above 150, you are not eligible for science courses or sometimes engineering courses. So there would be a various types of reasons to choosing pharmacy as a career. Sometimes pharmacy is just a second option for many of the students that was 
because the indian uh, pharmaceutical industry suffers so much for this reason so i would like uh, i would like to ask you that what was the reason in your career that you choose pharmacy as your lifetime career option what you what things you see in pharmacy option well to be honest um it's not actually my first choice it's actually my parents choice because if you came from an asian country i think you would agree with me that you just follow whatever your parents wanted you to be and so basically that's what my parents want me to become when i was in high school they wanted me to become a pharmacist so as an obedient daughter i just followed like okay sure i can do that because anyway i don't really have a course or a career that i want in my mind that time so i just said okay sure i'll become a pharmacy but at the back of my my mind i also wanted to become a doctor so i said why not it could be my pre med course but um well obviously i didn't become a doctor but i became a pharmacist and i didn't regret that i became a pharmacist for me it's a great career you can do a lot of things you can work in a community pharmacy hospital you can be a teacher you can be a regulatory pharmacist or you can put up your own business as well so it is something that um the career is very broad there's a lot of opportunities and i think being a pharmacist is a great career you don't get um make your hands dirty just to make money and it's not so much physical job it's more of like i think mental job that you should have and of course you should really be very good with people as well because you'll be talking to a lot of people every single hour of the day especially if you're working here in a pharmacy as a pharmacist if you know what i mean so yeah i think um i answered all the questions and i hope you guys are more now knowledgeable of what it's like to work here in canada so dosto ye tha aaj ka video video end karne se pehle agar aapne mujhe instagram ke upar follow nahi kiya to aap mujhe instagram ke upar follow kar sakte hain nasi ke videos ki nasi ke channel ki links maine aapko description box mein di hai to usko bhi support dikha hua aap ja ke subscribe kar sakte ho aap wo bhi abroad students ke liye videos banati hai lekin wo english mein hai to आपके लिए इंग्लिश अगर इजी लैंग्वेज है तो आप उसके चैनल को जरूर चेकआउट कर सकते हैं अभी वो इनिशियल डेज में ही है उसके लगभग 200 हंड्रेड सब्सक्राइबर है ये था आज का वीडियो वीडियो एंड करने से पहले अगर आपने चैनल को अभी तक सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो आप मुझे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर रहे हैं उसके साथ चैनल को लाइक कर रहे हैं वीडियोज़ को कमेंट करें अच्छी सी ताकि मुझे पता चले कि जो कॉलेब्रेशन में बना रहा हूँ आपके लिए हेल्पफुल है या नहीं और धन्यवाद दोस्तों ये वीडियो देखने के लिए धन्यवाद